Hey boys and girls, for our last Bible lesson, we talked about this week and the last week about how to put on the armor of God and what the armor of God is. We learned about the helmet of salvation. We learned about the breastplate of righteousness. We learned about the belt of truth and about the shoes of the gospel of peace. We learned about the shield of faith and also the sword of the spirit. And so boys and girls, now we need to learn how to apply that to our lives or how to make it all work together. And so the way to do all of that, Jesus has given us something called prayer. And all prayer is, is a communication or talking with God. And the crazy thing about prayer is that you can do it anywhere. You don't have to do it only in your room on your knees. Like we see sometimes when people are praying in um in movies, you can do it anywhere. You can do it in the shower. You can do it while you're driving in the car. You can do it as you are in school and people are talking or if something's bothering you, you're welcome to just close your eyes and pray wherever you are. And so I was going to read to you this verse that's in my Bible and it's Philippians 4, 6 and it should sound so familiar because we have sang this as a song. So it says... Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God that will pass all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So remember, boys and girls, what it says, do not be anxious. It's don't be worried about anything, but just pray to God and thank him for what he's done and also just ask what you want. And so we can do that, and that will help us to put on the full armor of God. And then there was another verse that I wanted to read to you, and it was past the verse that we read about putting on the full armor of God, the one that you memorized. It says that we should pray in the Spirit on everything, and with all kinds of prayers, like asking prayers or thanking prayers. And um, with this in mind, pray for everybody. And so, boys and girls, when... Um, things are going well, make sure you thank God for it. When things are going and they're kind of rough, pray to God for it. And also, if someone is not being nice to you as you go through life, or if people are being kind for you, you pray for them. And um, I think the hardest thing that it is, is if someone is um, hurting inside their heart, sometimes they are not nice. And instead of being not nice back, which is what our body sometimes wants to do, our heart says that um, we should not do that because Jesus lives in our heart. And he tells us to be kind to them, even when they're not being kind to us. And so, boys and girls, um, we learned about how to use our words this morning and our read aloud. But also, more effective than even that is going to be our prayer to God. And actually, God will give us the words to say to somebody. And um, everyone will be nice to you, but sometimes there will be people who are not very nice. And a lot of times, it's because they're hurting inside. And so, boys and girls, you guys have the light of Jesus inside of you. And I've seen it in every single one of you. And I hope and I pray that you guys will be able to be a light to others as you go through this life. All right, boys and girls, have a great day.